Hello, fishes, and welcome to a new game. I am joined once again by my lovely wife, Rose. I have a slightly different recording setting. Hopefully, make this turn out a little bit better. This is not a new game for a lot of you guys, but <laughs> I have never gotten around to playing it. I have successfully kept her from not watching or seeing anything about this game because I really wanted to get her genuine reaction to the things that happen in this game um i know i've seen it i've seen gameplay i've seen you know game theories about it but so i know going in what's going to happen but rose has no idea all i know is cute anime girls that's yes. that's, that's all i know so we are gonna d dive right in to with a new game <sighs> do you want it to be you or me you're looking for my reaction so maybe me Do you want to, who do you want to be? <laughs> do you want to be question mark, question mark, question mark? Well, we have played this far, so I this know far. who this is. Do you, do you want to be her then? Do you want me to be her or I guess we could do no, the same. No, you're you. I'll be all the girls. I'll be all the girls. You're going to be all the girls? Yeah, okay. I'll be all the girls. You're you. You got to do funny voices for all of them. Man, really? <laughs> I don't want to be all the girls. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from a distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend. Children. You know, the kind of friend that you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but started uh, starting around high school, she oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's gonna chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let so Sayori catch up to me. <laughs> I overslept again! But I caught you this time! Maybe. But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me! That's mean, Rose. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have to. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> Can't believe that voice just that that just left my mouth. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Rose. Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I... That's my That's own. Rose, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I'm so caught up in being Sayori. <laughs> I told you already. I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. They already likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on, on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Or the anime part. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I would die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. That's work. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. 
Will you at least promise you'll try? Tr promise me you'll try a little. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! <laughs> Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Oh no, am I this character? You are so <laughs> No, I, I promise you are. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. Sorry. <laughs> you gotta press the button. I'm sorry, I, didn't, I missed. <laughs> I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out. So I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Don't need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... You know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Meanie. I don't know how to say how to pronounce that word. You gotta do the you finger, do thing finger too. things. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest, after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed. Unless. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyways? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. <laughs> and Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's just so cunning as to have planned all this out. <sighs> You're not going to read that bit? You're just no. going to do it? Yeah. <laughs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! Ah! Yoink! <laughs> Yoink me around. <laughs> and thus, today marks the day that I sold my soul for a cupcake. You would. Oh, hush up. Depends on the type of cupcake. I dejectively follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! This marks my acting career. This is, not, <laughs> this is all gonna be terrible, I promise you. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the classroom. That was not classy. Oh, hush up. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Oh, I guess I'm a Way to kill the atmosphere. Well, I'm four different girls. <laughs> so how do you make me, how do you think I feel? Ah, Rose, what a pleasant, or what a nice surprise. Pleasant. It's nice, just nice. You're not pleasant. You're just nice. Oh. <laughs> Cooking with 
Nice. <laughs> yep, yeah, cookie was just just good. Welcome to the club. Uh, <laughs> all words escaped me in this situation. This club. Full of incredibly cute girls. The gasp. I don't know. Yuri is. Come on, she's like the cutest one though. <laughs> What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry? Natsuki. Oof. The girl with the sour attitude name and apparently Natsuki. One I did not recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayori. You can't just ignore her when she gets- you can just ignore her when she gets all moody. Ayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, that's Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Play with your- you do yes, my uh, epically long hair, totally. Should we get a, a wig so you oh, have Oh, you want me, to, you want me to get four different wigs <laughs> so I put them on for each uh, each girl I'm speaking about? Yes, because that totally helps with our uh, PNG. Yes, our total aesthetic is perfect. Yeah. And I guess I could draw it. No. You could. <laughs> we'll see if I'm that dedicated. <laughs> Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Rose. Oh, why so sensual about because it? Because it's Monica. We have a love affair? Yes, you don't know that. You don't know this yet, but yes. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, athletic. I look at that and just think sports. No, oh, that is that is cliche anime sports shape. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, completely out of my league. This is just gonna make me sound super gay. Oh yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> but it's for it, it, it fits because I already know what happened. So having her smile at me so genuinely. Feels a little. You too, Monica. And you gotta do the hand movement. That's perfect. You, you too. You too. Come sit down, Rose. We made room for you at the ah. table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. We'd be afraid of a pink-haired girl making cupcakes? No. <laughs> Sorry, I, I got a little excited, a little too excited. And how about I make some tea as well? Girls have a few desks arranged on a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat with Yuri. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, they're ready! Oh, are you ready? How dare. Ta-da! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> she looks so proud of herself. And Monica is staring dead eyed. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. And by what my earlier statement about you for a cupcake. <laughs> you can't just bring cats into them like that. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate where you can take the ears. You should make me these cupcakes. I should make you these cupcakes? Yeah. We'll, we'll have to see. 
You can bribe me with cupcakes. I stand by my statement about selling her soul for a cupcake. Hush. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking. She's sensual to everyone, not just me. Oh. Just don't get the... too into it. Aww. <laughs> well, you know... Just hurry and take one. They are grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. He's delicious! What was it? Her mouth was full. Oh, okay. See? I know what's going on! <laughs> so you already talked with her mouth full and all. Has already managed to get icing on her face. I know what I'm... I turn the cupcakes around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. And I'm snapped. No, there was no dust. <laughs> this was somebody else's witchcraft. I can't help but notice her glances in my direction. Waiting for me to take a bite? Finally bite down. The icing is sweet, full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... I heard this somewhere before. Anime nerd. Thing. Made it for you. Made it for you or anything. Uh, but you technically did. Sayori said. Well, maybe, but not for you. No, you dummy. All right, all right. Give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. You are all of these characters, by the way. You have aspects of all four. Oh, so I'm just multiple anime tropes wrapped in a cute bundle? Yes. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. Carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Depends on the type of tea. Ah, uh, I guess? Uh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. That's not... Insulted, Yuri. <laughs> Make her own noise. Yes, totally. I meant that, y you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be my pas a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Very faint. Let's do it. Monica raises an eyebrow and So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it is my duty to make the club fun, exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Oh, uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and the publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Here we are. Then I'm 
surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Rose, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering. Manga? <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? Spoke without a, a, even thinking after seeing Guri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Should, 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 I, uh, should I grab you a teacup so you can act it out too? No, I'm good. Um, but I have so many. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> That's why you're like Yuri. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. Uh, my favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftman craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not peace. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped for something I can relate to at, a, at the minimal level. That's right, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with Rock. Really? Wouldn't have expected that. Wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. The real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a bit. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh? Why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. Oh, that's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! Hey, give me that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori saddles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. 
You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The trust form, the truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share your share some of your work, you can send an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Sorry, I'm just... you, you don't want to try and be sexy this whole time? No, not really. Question mark? Question mark? <laughs> now you got the... You gotta do the dot 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 and then oh, the question. Sorry, I apologize. I How dare. Tatsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Yeah! Let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen our bond of the club. Isn't that right, Rose? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. Still one problem. Okay, well, what's that? Now that we're back in the topic of running the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. The Yori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... Oh, you I, made them all sad! My train of thought? How- look at those sad faces! You hurt them all! No! Dejected them. All four girls stare back at me. Dejected eyes. You have dejected them. I'm pretty sure I'm using that word right. <laughs> but, but... Uh, sorry, I thought... Oof! Rose... They all just got shorter now. Yes, they all <laughs> shrunk. Well... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's all... What it's like this? That's it. If writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. <laughs> one by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Ah! I I'm not gonna do that. I mean, you could. <laughs> It'd be real cute. But we're both sitting down, it would just be awkward. Yeah, that's true. Sayori <laughs> wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. But that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Or not, Tsuki has Monica's hair in her face. Uh, she's probably into it. It's fine. I don't know that. <laughs> ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Rose, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Deductive. Yeah? Did I really impress the class star Monica with all my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki. 
Hey, Rose, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? Right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school at clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart club room to make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between four girls. Sayori, Atsuki, Yuri, and of course, Mon. Well, I'd really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Okay, this is the actual gameplay part of this game. What? There's actual gameplay? Yes. Time to write a poem. All right, you're, you're the one with the buttons. Yes. Okay, pick 20 words. They will change each time. Uh, each word you pick will go towards one of the girls. Be carefully who you want to seduce with your poem. Oop. Oop. <laughs> what happens if they equally disperse it between all of them? Well, you can't. There's 20 words and there's three of them, so there's always going to be one that's slightly ahead. Why isn't Monica here? Because you can't seduce Monica. She's the class president. Why not? <laughs> I didn't make the game! Uh, sing. Um. Uh, the singing mouse. <laughs> Great poem. With excitement. Because <laughs> that is the destiny of this mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful poem, guys. It's so beautiful. And we hope um, that we can be friends with this mouse. <laughs> <laughs> um, because this mouse is precious. <laughs> this precious mouse gets the boop. Yes. <laughs> and we hope that the boops do not give said mouse anxiety. Your name is right here. And then we dazzle our mouse. <laughs> dazzle the elegant pooping mouse. As raindrops hit our window. About how cute these mouses. <laughs> <laughs> but the rain makes us want to pout. I, I couldn't <laughs> see it for a second. <laughs> but we just have to kind of embrace it. Um, really quite a tragedy that it's raining outside. <laughs> um, you also have to pay attention to who's jumping. It's mostly been Sayori, I've noticed. Yes. I mean, I'm not really trying for anyone specific. What did we say? Okay, something about the tragedy rain. Tragedy was the last yes, one. Yes, it was a tragedy that it was raining, but we turned on some music. Not really a poem. <laughs> a short story. <laughs> and we twirled around with the house but the mouse was sad to be our captive oh <laughs> Stockholm syndrome <laughs> got it but we kissed the mouse in hopes that it would turn into that's, a prince that's how the black plague started <laughs> but he at least turned more peaceful if not into a congrats <laughs> you wrote your first, first poem Hi again, Rose. That's too uh, chipper for her. Hi again, Rose. 
No, I was just kidding. Ah. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> ah, don't worry. Might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back to the literature club. I actually probably should have. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Um... You want to end this one here? I mean, we can end here before the, the poetry reading. Yes. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun. And I hope you are too, Rose. I think so. You think so? I'm not sure yet. Okay. We, we just wrote a poem about a mouse. booping our captive mouse in the rain. Yes, so it was very tragic. <laughs> Such a tragedy, guys. Uh, so, if you guys like it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Bye!